Target training is a brilliant plan. To train an animal to target, you simply click and treat movements and looks towards the target and then slowly change your click criteria until the animal is precisely targeting the target. A target can be anything. It can be a postcard or a post-it or a target that you've downloaded and printed out from the internet or something that you've made yourself. Yeah. Or it could even be a ball or, um, or anything really that you want it to be. So once you've got an animal precisely targeting, like um, this hen, then you can start doing target games. So here we're doing colour um, discrimination with Millie. It's quite an easy task for a clever cat like her. And um, what you do is you uh, simply click and treat whenever she touches a specific coloured target. So here she only gets a click and treat when she touches the black target and not the blue target. So as Millie becomes, or whatever animal you're training, as they become more um, confident, you can bring in more coloured targets. So you see here she starts becoming a little bit more confident, spending longer on the target and also being much quicker to go to the target. Good girly Millie. Good girl. Hens learn this very quickly. Um, here Delia has learned that only by clicking the black target does she get the click and the treat. So she'll even go to the black target if it's the furthest target away. Yeah. There she goes. So after a while, when your hen or your cat or your dog gets particularly good at, at targeting that one colour target, you can bring in numerous different colour targets. So here's Millie again. This time she's got five different targets and she's learnt that she has to touch the black one to get the treats. I mix up the order a little bit here, but she always will go straight to the black one. There she goes, she's found it. There it is. And then she looks at me and says, Oh, okay, I'm treating her. <laughs> it's a brilliant way to keep the, the animal's brain active as well. So, another game that you can do with the target is. Um, you can teach an animal targets by the name of the colour. So here with Archie I've taught him that black means black target and yellow means yellow target. Um, you can put these targets on cue so when I say black, only when Archie touches the black target does he get a treat and then when I tell him yellow um, he only gets a click and a treat when he touches the yellow target. If he hits the wrong target I call him back and we start again. The important thing here is to make sure that your colours have names that sound very clear and different from one another. Black and yellow are a good place to start. Yellow. Yellow. G yellow. As so Archie becomes more confident, I will bring in other colours as well. Um, again, I'll make sure that the colours that I bring in have very specific, different sounding names. You can also use the tonation of your voice to make sure that you're being very clear when you say yellow or black yellow. or blue. Good boy. Sorry, my giggle's a bit late there. It's important to call your dog Archie back yellow. in between targets, um, even when he gets to wrong targets, so that each time it's a fresh a fresh start. Archie, if you're using ready? a different animal you can often represent the target Black. as opposed to represent the animal. Um, but when you're working with dogs and larger animals like horses or alpacas, it's easier just to represent the animal and bring them back to you and release Archie them Black. Again. Good boy. So you can also teach a dog yeah. to shut the door using targets. I've taught Stanley here to target the poster um, and then the next stage is to put the post-it somewhere up high so that the dog has to um, jump up to touch it. Yes, there good boy. Yes. Then the stage after this is you can put Atty it onto boy. an open yummy, door yummy. and the dog will open, yummy, yummy. Uh, will close the door by standing up. Good boy. Okay. And then you put it to a name. So you give it a name like shut 
um, and you put the, the command on Q. You can then start fading the um, target so it's smaller and smaller until it's not there at all.